title of study today is Communication by Effectual Acknowledgement. Having addressed Philemon as a fellow laborer in his charge to, in like-mindedness, make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, Paul turns to addressing the communication of the faith. I thank my God, making mention of thee always in my prayers, hearing of thy love and faith, which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus, and toward all saints, that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Philemon 1 verses 4 to 6 Let's see what this is saying. In verse 4, Paul states, I thank my God, making mention of the always in my prayers, implying a continual and constant state of prayer. Paul uses this very same type of statement in Romans 1 verse 9, For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. The key words in verse 4 are thank, meaning to be grateful or express gratitude, always, meaning every when or at all times, and prayers, essentially a communion of worship with God our Creator and Savior. So, in this one simple statement, the Apostle is teaching that. 1. Communion with God in prayer is a priority for the believer. 2. In prayer, we should express gratitude to God for many things, one of which is people who are doing the work of God, context, and 3. We should make time for this communion and thanksgiving with God always. And we should also see that this always stated here to be an indication of Paul's commitment to pray for Philemon. In verse 6a, Paul states that part of the reason for his continual prayer for Philemon is due to his continued hearing of thy love and faith, which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus, and toward all saints. And just how did Paul hear of such? Remember that Paul has with him people who had both lived in the household of Philemon, one Zymus, as well as those who had been to Colossae where Philemon lived, Epaphras, Timothy, and Tychicus. And what he had heard of Philemon was the continual exercise of two of the gifts of the Spirit that abide, 1 Corinthians 13 verse 13, love and faith, the greatest of which is love, 1 Corinthians form of love is actually charity. And this love and faith were directed both toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints. As member of the church, which is his body, love toward our head is an obvious response to the love we've been shown. But as relates to loving all saints, e.g., other members of the body of Christ, this takes effort as all members of the body of Christ are not always easily loved. Yet Paul makes this statement without reservation regarding Philemon. Continuing his prayer in verse 6 on behalf of Philemon, Paul states he prays that the communication of thy faith may become effectual. And prayer for such communication ability is clearly vital if one is to. Make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, Ephesians 3 9 a.m., in an effectual manner. And this effectual communication is only accomplished by the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. Here we see just how critical it is that believers study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 because apart from knowing the truth rightly divided, the believer cannot possibly know just what is every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. It is only by the rightly divided study of the word of truth that the believer comes to clearly know their identity in Christ and the resulting understanding that the believer is forgiven all trespasses, Colossians 2 verse 13, the righteousness of God in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, complete in him, Colossians 2 verse 10, and accepted in the beloved, Ephesians 1 verse 6. And you cannot communicate what you do not know. Believer, acknowledge. Every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus that you may be able to effectually communicate your faith.